What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna dive into Bitcoin's price action and where I think it's going. Is the bull market over or are we just getting started? So I'd say this is our first major pullback during this bull run. We had a small one here, but this was more so a consolidation, uh, accumulation phase in my opinion. We didn't see a large dip, uh, just kind of chopped sideways here and then exploded. So we exploded from 20, about $25,000, $26,000, all the way to 75K. And now it looks like we're getting a serious pullback. We're getting rejected from the previous all-time high, which is normal to see. I mean, from such a large run-up from 26K all the way approximately to 74, 73K, um, there wasn't, you know, any sort of real pullback in my opinion. So now we're seeing that extremely normal. Actually, if we go to Dow Theory's number two tenant, which is there are three primary kinds of market trends, markets experience, primary trends which can last a year or more, such as a bull market or bear market. Within the broader trends, secondary trends make smaller movements such as a pullback within a bull market or a rally within a bear market. So these secondary trends can last a few weeks to a few months. Finally, minor trends can last a few days to a few weeks. So what I think we're seeing is our secondary trend within the bull market, and that is a small, you know, pullback that could last for weeks or months. And if you take a look here, that's what we saw as well. Approximately 77 days, and we'll flip over to this chart right here. So last bull market, we had a huge dump. Let's see from the top down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, approximately 55%. And we won't like emulate this exactly in terms of price and in terms of days, but it could be very similar. So this is another pullback we got uh, on Bitcoin in the last bull market, 31%. If we take a look at where we are right now, and I'm taking a look at the weekly, but we can break it down to the daily um, and then see what is the percentage total from the top to the bottom, approximately 23%. So, you know, a smaller pullback than usual. Sometimes we're seeing 30, 40% in a bull market and it's extremely normal. And then we'll continue to the upside. It's a shakeout, don't sell your Bitcoin to the suits. So we're gonna take a look at price action right now on the daily. We had a few attempts to break this resistance here. Let's just call it previous all time high, 69K was previous all time high. We just thrust it above to about 74,000. So nothing too crazy above. And what what's, you know, popping out to me here is the market structure has broken. But before we go into that, let's note some, some uh, support right here in the green and then we have resistance right here so this is kind of the channel that we're bouncing in and out of and uh you know buying between the channels like on in the on the support and selling at the resistance has worked greatly so that will work until it doesn't work and let me just change that to red so you can see it more clearly so yeah you can see here support resistance support resistance support and now what i'm looking at is we're actually breaking we've broken market structure so in uptrends we're looking at making higher highs and higher lows so you can see right here higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and then we retested the high here we retested the low and we actually uh, we're not able to make another higher high here. We put in a lower high. So you can see here the market structure. You can see this downtrend clear now. So what I'm thinking is this is actually, and let me remove this so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, we're facing some, some pretty decent resistance here. You got the 200 uh, EMA on the daily. And actually, if you go down on the four hour as well, you can see that we are uh, testing that EMA as well. So some confluence on uh, the resistance side. We're seeing a lot of different factors add up. You can see that this is a bearish candle right here as well. Uh, the previous candle right here that we tried to thrust up into resistance. We tried to break above and we just couldn't. There's a bunch of sellers here. You can see the resistance 
uh, from the trend line, from the moving average, from uh, all of these different uh, closes as well. So it's kind of stacking up. I do think that we might test the lows again. So 56K, 57K, if you're lucky, you can buy a little bit cheaper because I don't think the bull runs over. I think we have uh, uh, quite some time to go. We, you know, had an amazing start, but usually after the halving, we're seeing 12 to 18 months after till, till we get into a bear market. So if we throw on some fibs right here, from our lower high to our lower low. You can also see like the golden pocket is getting tapped. It's, it's right there right now, you know? This was a really great area to short, the 65K mark. I had a short at 64.5, it didn't trigger the first time and I, I canceled it. I should have left it there. I saw a lot of bull posting on Twitter because this line right here, this trend line was broken, but to me, I am looking for at least two closes after, uh, two closes above the trend line to really validate it. And we had our first right here, and then this one, uh, it, it's just not really looking convincing. We had like a doji here, and then we have this bearish candle and getting clearly rejected from the moving average from this trend line. So I just don't think, um, I don't think we're gonna break above here. This would be kind of the, uh, bull mark that if I see us trading above the previous lower high that was made at 67k um, I would be bullish this is the kind of price action I'm looking for let me get my pen out the brush so right now if we were to let's say you know break above either retest or just break above clean and keep flying. That's kind of the, the area I'm looking for. That'd be like, holy bulls are really in action. And, and I think we're gonna, we're gonna fly out of here. And then this would be the next line of course, the next line of defense, which is the 71.3 uh, area. And if we break 67, we would be um, breaking this downtrend on the smaller time frame and continuing. I do want to note that the weekly candle here, and I'll go to a different Bitcoin chart, the weekly candle here is quite bullish. You can see this hammer, um, which a ton of buyers stepped in. I, I don't think we will actually trade lower than this. Maybe filling the wick in. Uh, that's possible. So trading to the downside, which I'm kind, of, which I'm leaning more towards. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Also, you can see here on the RSI, we are not able to break the 50 area. You can see we're getting rejected as well. So it's a lot of people ignore that, but you can see it's 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 been really great from the bounces and support or rejection. So we're getting rejected as well on the RSI. So this is kind of what I'm looking at right now. I'm kind of looking at something like coming back down under here, small bounce off the support that we've got in here, 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 small bounce, and maybe some more consolidation, or we just come back down, retest this as a resistance now, support turned resistance, and then kind of double bottom here. That's kind of what I would, what I'm looking for. And this could play on, you know, we could trade sideways, we could trade downwards for the next few weeks. As we saw in Dow Theory, this could take a few weeks to a month or two. Um, and a lot of people think that the summer is gonna be low volume, just choppy sideways action. And I'm, I'm in for both of them. If it comes cheaper, we'll have an opportunity to long here. If it does come all the way here to the moving average on the daily, the 200 right here, and retest this prior high um, of 52K, and that'd be a prior higher, uh, higher high on larger time frames you could see on the weekly right here, that would be a major buy area for me. And you know, either if it just slides right through, reclaim and buy right here, or if it just wicks right into it. So either or, I think it would be a good buy moving into the next up um, leg up. So just wanted to do a quick Bitcoin analysis. We're gonna be doing daily videos. We have a lot of plan for you guys. Hit the subscribe button, join the Discord. We got a giveaway coming up in the next few days. You do not wanna miss out. So appreciate you guys watching and supporting. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow.